Hello peeps, welcome back to Old Yorkshire Git Tribes. My name's Russell, we're playing Baldur's Gate 3 and it's part 84. Right, we finished it off yesterday. Oh, God, he switched the keyboard again. <laughs> right, here we go. Back on the controller. Yeah, we uh, come to this new village, haven't we? And there was a s small battle and somebody called Arthur. Arthur. And we're in his house and we're going to check out his basement. So let's go, shall we? Oh, that's right. I've got to switch to Astro Boy. Oh, it's bugging me. That may team list at the side. No, that way. Up there. Up there. Up there. Above me. Up there. The Albert's dropped down one. I don't know how you'd switch them. Why is Albert not the top one anymore? Can you move him? Nope. Group all. Right, try that one. Attention. Nope. Oh, I forgot to Google me controller. Bear with me a second. Pause the recording. And we're back in the room. Yeah, I was pressing the right button yesterday, but it weren't working. Oh, how the hell can we do that? Can I use the controller? that aha got him back to control that I'll do right Astro lock pick and a lock pick for ages either bloody hell you got enough help there mate Dropping all fire. Let's go down and check. How are we all doing today anyway? I hope we're all well. Ooh, traps. Rigged fireworks, disarm. Oh, we beat that one. I've got 13 in the bomb. Let's get a bit of light on the subject. Oh, has he been doing naughty with little kids? Oh, I hope not. I'll go and bloody chop his head off. No, 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 stay back. This place is hungry for blood. Stay back, you buggers. Well, Astro Boy certainly improved his skills, hasn't he?
don't know if you do get XP from doing this or not. Still haven't worked that bit out. Receive some wogglings, whatever they are. See it, that's why. Damn, I forgot to do it again. Right, uh, first things I want to do. Doesn't so say you can't check and see. Bloody El Astro, you need to lose some stuff, mate. Spirit two six five eight, right. This place is trapped. And then we'll check again when we've done this one and see if it goes up any. So you don't gain experience from doing all that. What's on your mind? I I don't want to talk to you. Simple as that. Go away. Should bloody get get it. Mother 
don't go rushing off. There's got to be a secret somewhere. read Arthur package still waiting for you at fellow gears you better not be late again or we'll start to wonder if you're really as committed as you claim to be pick it up put it in the teddy bears make the donation it couldn't be simpler really if it's still here this time tomorrow we'll stuff you with it as you well know we've plenty to spare okay Any more light around? Okay, uh, inspect the donations. What donations? see any levers or anything no wrong one quests free Orpheus Investigate the suspicious toys. Oh. 
Where are they, I wonder? These suspicious toys. Right, Albert, you're back on charge. This pass grants access for Burr and then tries to world drop audience off the ceremony. Gortash is being named Archduke. Time to pay Worms Rock a visit. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know if I should have done that. Where's all these goodies then? Upstairs. Still need to find a shopkeeper. Astro, you're up. Check inside. Madame Amira, thank you for the invitation. You know how much I love Sharice's caress. But I still haven't lived down my last experience with the Drow twins and I fear they won't have forgotten my little mishap. So that was probably my last visit. I hope you'll understand, Arthur. Go on, you're a thief anyway, so. An unfinished love story. He's got a bath. So, where are these toys? Map. Oh, no. Map. Oh. 
Oh, I'll go down this way then. Well, I'm pressing it, but nothing's happening. That's the button I'm supposed to press. Oh, dagger. Yes, it is showing. All right, I'll shut up. I'll get me coat. This guy, shopkeeper. Welcome, adventurer. Take it you're new to Rivington. Aye, cocky. Aye. To choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and cutting galore. I don't see if we can find the perfect weapon for you. How will you know my perfect I weapon? I provide a personalised service for my customers. To make okay. Me, how do you like to kill? Slow and painfully. Quick and efficiently. I see. Playing to your strengths. Keep you things simple. Oh. When you kill someone, what do you feel? Powerful, untouchable, unstoppable, deep sadness, I take no enjoying it. I wipe down my weapon and move on. Relieved. Yeah. I can see it in your eyes, though. You can't help. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? Oh dear. Difference does that make? Weapon must be fit for every kill, even the ones you never think will come. So answer me honestly. Could you kill one you love? Ooh. Well, it depends, doesn't it? Because you love somebody and then you find out they're a cold-blooded killer or whatever. You'll do so much worse by the time I'm... What the hell? Ah... Don't expect to meet her so quickly. I didn't attack oh, you. Dear lie to me. I saw you with my own eyes. Grinning at me like some bloody imbecile. I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. Uh, medicine's no good. Persuasions, I might have a good job. Intimidation, death, deception, persuasion. Oh shit. 
I might be alright. Yeah. Pick the right one. I can never remember which ones I'm good at and which ones I'm not. I'm sure it were you. The more was certain. Ah, God's be damned, I don't know. I'd have sworn, but my head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. Okay, so I'm not going to sell stuff to him. Rivington General. Voice don't go with it, does it? You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What do you say? Huh? Show me your words. Oh, she's got a lot of money. Right. Nothing yet. Nope. Rare clothing, ten armor class, fifteen temporary hit points whenever you rage. Reduces all incoming damage by two. That's not bad. Armor class fourteen. just buy that oh hold on oh yeah he's 12 equip you take one less bludgeoning damage and gain a one bonus to initiative rolls ambusher that's nice Some good armor. One to stealth checks. Gain a one to dexterity. Uh, that's still better. sell stuff more glimpse oh sell
Light armor, get rid of that one. Sell all the stuff. to that I think got anything up here what's that oh there's someone else do need to buy some health though if I can find it Is that rags yeah they can go Astro, what you got? Get rid of that one. Sixteen medium armor. Sixteen medium armor. Three to fifteen damage. Glaive. Oh shit, what happened there? of everything moonlight glaive 8 to 20 got any health the dancing breeze 
glaive. Right, close. Gold. Right. Now then. Oh. Where's them things? Astro. 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 Six to nine. There we go. And then the other bit was that. Can we get out? Ah, that's better. will open the temple up again. You will see. The good people, holy people. If you're looking for Il Martyr's charity, you're out of luck. They've turned their backs on us, like everyone else. Oh, let's go and check it out. Temple worship suspended until further notice. The faithful in jewel. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. What happened? I, I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Let more outsiders in, and more Baldurians die. You still, Father Look, there's no coincidence. We have faith here, Ben. Faith 
in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Logan? How did that work out? Exactly. Logan let a killer into our temple due to his misguided compassion. His faith got him murdered. Yeah, that can happen. Be quiet. Even sinners receive ill natured grace, and Father Logan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Thank you, stranger. I take some Astro disapproves as normal. In ill mater's service. Does ill mater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. Pompous ass, I mean. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Well, I'll try. I think you just put one foot in front of the other, don't you? Sister Yanis. Look, investigator. Rogor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorcan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. <laughs> oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of ill mater. Sounded like a load of bollocks, anyway. Go that far. But the investigator is being particularly challenging right now. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. I can look into it. Look around the temple. A fair warning. The investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. Uh, can you tell me where to find Shira Clowey? I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year, peacefully. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. Okay. Shira's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Ooh, she said that without even moving her lips, like. Let's have a look. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. What do you want to know? How did you die? Slowly. Logan was a good man, if naive. He deserved better. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. 
They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. We give them everything. And all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Well, I'm not going to loot it. Well, I don't know what I just picked up. Right, telling me to go down. Okay. Damn. Still down. this point well there is a marker in there come on kitchen visitors kindly keep to common areas food will be served at meal times the blood The one. See what we're doing. Must be another one somewhere.
don't need the armor. Let's get the candles all lit. didn't work not another one then okay so how do we do this then where we're going in have a look in there so we just check these little side rooms first to the side rooms and we won't go into that big area first we'll do these little rooms see what we can find so we don't miss nothing lock pick easy good old astro Elixir of physical resistance. Gain resistance to psychic damage. Can be thrown at a target to apply its effects. Okay. Check all those. Nice. Can't beat a few scrolls. Right now, where was that other one? Satida Atana, born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. Now I want to read the plaque. Fucker. You know what? Do it that way. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker, born 1400 DR, died 1456 DR.
Here lies Sister Shira Clarwin, date of birth unknown, died 1491 DR. spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania, and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. <coughs> now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer. Oh, <laughs> Shall it be thou? If it will bring you peace, I will bear the madness. What happens if I say yes? I know the extent of Shah's mania, Tasha's hideous laughter at thy beck and call. But at what cost? Who might say? <laughs> your muscles tingle and your mouth twitches as the laughing madness spreads through you. Madness tugs at your mind, prods in places best left untouched. You feel your wisdom begin to drain. Wisdom. Pick the right one. as ever, even as Shah's madness spreads outward. You giggle, struck by the absurdity of the moment. A spirit hiding inside an amulet has brought you to the body of his granddaughter and possessed it. Outrageous. Ridiculous. Once again, you feel your wisdom draining away. Hilarious. What is it? Muster your senses, clear your mind. You will take the madness, but it will not take you. Hold firm, you will make this curse a gift. Constitution. Hey. The urge to laugh dwindles. Can't help hey, they all approved. You withstood the monk's madness and earned Tasha's hideous laughter. Oh, well, I earned something. Don't know what it is. As usual. <laughs>
Here lies Reloric Windbane, born 1399 DR, died 1486 DR. Right. Still alive, so that's progress. There we are. So we're all ready to go into the other place but we'll do that not today you'll have to wait till next episode <laughs> dun, dun, dun. same same bat time same bat channel anyway whatever you're up to peace. now if you're old enough to remember that fair play whatever you're up to have a fantastic day stay safe everybody and until next time i'll see you